Hey, man, imagine for a second that you had unlimited access to the world's best recording and mixing studios. And then imagine how expensive that would be. Imagine that you can also just take those studios with you wherever you were at, whether you were in a plane, on a train, in a car, wherever. Imagine that you just had that same sound quality of iconic studios wherever you went, all through a pair of headphones. I'm talking about the ability to be able to check your mixes in some of the best studios from all around the world without leaving your seat. That's literally what the Immerse Virtual Studio allows us to do. I'm so excited about it because I've been using it as a studio in itself, a literally a virtual studio to where I could be sitting here in my studio, but also hear what this mix may sound like in an anechoic chamber or at Jimmy Douglas Studio or at Blackbird Studios or even just monitoring my spatial audio mix using Apple Music spatial audio codec so that I know exactly how my mix is gonna sound once it hits streaming services. Immerse Virtual Studio is blowing me away and it has a really powerful tool and now it's even more simple to use. Check out this video that I recorded at NAMM that kind of walks us through all the possibilities of using Embody's Immerse Virtual Studio. The Immerse Virtual Studio just got so lit because for the first time ever, y'all, we about to be able to actually monitor what our Adobe Atmos mixes are gonna sound like on Apple Music platform. You probably didn't know this, but maybe you did if you really in the trenches with it. But the Apple Music Dolby Atmos codec is unlike any other. It's not what you're listening to when you're listening to the Dolby Atmos render. And actually nobody before now has been able to really listen to what their music is gonna sound like on Apple Music's platform until Embody just launched this brand new product. Make sure y'all check it out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. You can go to Wavy Pro Audio right now and get the Apple Music. They're like, this is not a, not a, what we think Apple Music is doing. I mean, they literally are working with Apple to bring y'all the official Apple Music codec so that you can hear your music exactly how it's gonna sound like on the Apple Music platform, man. Download it right now. It's a big product launch for us. This particular product, which is called Immerse Virtual Studio, Apple Music Signature Edition, mm. the philosophy behind that particular product, it make it easy, accessible, simple, for mm. any artist out there to create a special music yeah. for Apple Music for, platform. Nice. Right? Uh, and you, can, you should be able to do that from every single DAW. Yes. Right. People have been doing it. If, it, for example, before the product is, before we launched uh, uh, Immerse Virtual Studio uh, mm -hmm. yesterday, if you are using Pro Tools, if that's uh, your your favorite DOM, to create uh, to to create uh, special content for Apple Music, the workflow is complex. You have to use multiple monitors sometimes. Routing is complex, right? And for and that kind of it's very intimidating for somebody who's trying to get into that particular space, right? You know, you sometimes you require big investment into it. A lot of learning is required. It's a standalone piece of software. Can be also used as a plugin. Okay. It's called Immerse Virtual Studio Apple Music. You can use with every single DAW. Mm -hmm. And with a single click of button, what it does, it gives you monitoring capabilities, capabilities how your mix will translate across different formats, different creation formats to consumption formats. And we'll demonstrate that today. Okay. So for example, you can see that how your mix will sound in a, a speaker-based playback. So right. we have Alan Myers in studio, Larson Master in the studio. You can see how your 714 mix will sound inside that particular studio. Right. And then you can immediately switch to how it will sound in Dolby Binaural. Inside the same software, you don't have to change any routing. Okay. Then you can also listen to how it will sound on Apple Music, a streaming platform. Mm -hmm. Again, inside the same software, without yes. changing any routing whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You can also listen to what your rough the stereo down mix sound like. All capability inside this one particular single software. Right. No routing changes, no complexity. So, so, so that your focus remain on creativity essentially. Nice, so um, my question, so like you can listen to it and monitor it in these different formats. Can you like export and in those formats without having to change the routing too? Like, is that a thing that's possible? Yeah, or? you're able to, with this right here, you can see it says binaural render. Mm -hmm. So that way you can render it in either any of those studios or in got Apple or Music. In, got you. And then mm -hmm. from uh, from a, the Dolby Atmos render or even in Pro Tools, now you can export the multi-channel or the binaural from Dolby. Right. So this is giving you, okay, cool, just one kind of click button. I can export the Apple Music. 
uh, how it's going to sound over Apple Music. It's okay. a WAV file right. rather than an MP4. So anybody on any device over any set of headphones can listen to it. You don't have to download that to your files app, play it back on Apple headphones to hear what it's going to sound like on Apple Music. Right. So if you're sending that to a client yeah. or to uh, an A&R representative, yeah. they can really actually listen back and don't have to go through that troublesome yeah. Are you downloading it to the right spot? Do you have Apple uh, AirPod yeah. Maxes or, yeah. or Pros? Are they connected? Is it'll be Atmos on? It's it's already all baked in there. Nice, really dope. That's that's big. Yeah. Yeah. The seven one four output setup, and then two extra stereo outputs for the Dolby binaural and stereo um, stereo mix. Mm -hmm. Right, so we can A B C really between Apple Music. Dolby binaural and then the original stereo mix, making sure those are all in the same creative world. Okay. That the binaural mixes or speaker based playback mix isn't in a totally different realm than this maybe existing stereo mix. Right. So to render out, is, is this using like the um, uh, audio bridge to get yep. into this? Yeah, so my, my playback engine is Immerse Audio Bridge. Okay. Um, and it's using the internal Dolby Atmos renderer. So it okay. goes right out of Pro Tools, right into uh, Immerse Virtual Studio. So not that in between of out of Pro Tools, Dolby Audio mm -hmm. Bridge into Renderer, out of yeah. that into Nice, so I, yeah, I, I like that, especially with with the Dolby um, Renderer being built into Pro Tools yep. now. So yeah. now we can like mix for the Dolby, but then use the Immerse Virtual Studio as a standalone, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm connecting the dots yeah, now and, exactly. and then be able to listen in all these different environments and over the different codecs. Um, yes, exactly. To, yeah, and it that's, was, that's, it was, how do we, um, this is it. Yeah. This is, this is the, <laughs> that was the missing piece. You, you, you and, can and, be in Jimmy Douglas studio. Yeah. On your headphones. Right. On my headphones. On right. Headphones. Not, not in the room. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's, that's, that's the part about, uh, the way I look at it, very important accessibility part, right? Yes. I mean, right. I mean it's, it's, it's great to be in Jimmy Douglas studio, right? But right. how many of us can be, right? It's difficult mm -hmm. to do that. 100%. Right? So, so I think, and that's where, but you can put on a pair of your headphones and yeah. you can transport yourself, put yourself in inside Jimmy's versus, studio, yeah, yeah, and right. you know like how your mix is sounding over there. Do you want to take a listen? I do. Do you want to listen on the, the Odyssey or the AirPod Maxes? Let's listen on the Odyssey. I never listened on Odyssey headphones before, so let's start there. Yeah. Now, uh, we do need to scan your HRTF as well. Okay. Uh, do I, uh, what, yeah. Just to make sure we're listening with your ear, so I'll get you set up. What we're doing is, we're taking a scan of your ear, yep. and we're creating your head-related transfer function, HRTF. Mm -hmm. And with your HRTF, we will put you inside that particular sweet spot of that studio. Exactly. So if you, you hit start, it'll be pretty awkwardly close to your face. Um, more than you think, you're going to turn left, it'll direct you, and then you turn right, and the phone can stay still. Okay. Yep. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Real life, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, so the HRTF, right, it's, it takes into consideration that everybody's head and ear shape is different, and so we're basically going to be generating a measurement of my head and ear shape so that the sound is custom tailored to my big old head. <laughs> Hey guys. Finished <laughs> recording. Pro Tools session using objects and everything, uh, vocals, drums, background vocals. You can solo, move anything around. When, I mean, this is available now, like, is this just a completely new product or is this like an add on to the Immerse Virtual Studio, like if somebody already purchased it? This is a great question. Both. Mm -hmm. um, so it, you, can, you can just purchase the Apple Music portion of it, Immerse okay. Virtual Studio Apple Music. Okay, but, and then uh, with that, only you will only be able to listen to what's happening in Apple yeah, Music, yeah. not the studio. No, not the studios. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.
I think mm -hmm. this is really gonna help a lot more people to adapt uh, the Merch Virtual Studio into their workflow. 